In this video, I'm going to install and explain the Contact Utilities module. So I've already downloaded the modules to my Sitecore server. I'm going to install it. So I'm going to start with the Contact Utilities. So the Contact Utilities, after I've installed a module, if I go into my Content Editor, Go under System, Settings, Contacts. There's a new folder in here called Contacts. If I go into Facets, I'm going to see a list of the different facets that are defined for Contacts. If I expand each, I'll see some information about the members of the different facets. So any facet you have will appear in here. That's really what the contact utilities module does. By itself, it's, it's just exposing facets as items, and it does this through a data provider. So if you're interested in data providers and seeing how, how they work, um, that's one reason why you might want to take a look at this module. Um, but it really is just setting the stage for some additional functionality, which is broken out into different modules. Okay, so after I have that installed, the next thing I need to do, I'm going to install the next package which is going to be the sample data. So the sample data is just going to install another facet, which has some different data types. Okay, so after the package is installed, now if I take a look at my contacts, I have an employee data facet, and if I expand this, I'll see that I have some different options. So employee ID, this is a string. Um, location is also a string, but it has some predefined options on it. Um, name, string, and years of service is an integer. Okay, so this is just setting up a little bit more sample data um, for the next step. So the next step is to install uh, another package And this is the contact rules package. Now, the contact rules package does require that you have the adaptive rules module installed. And I recorded another video that kind of explains what that is and how it works. But you do need to have that installed on your Sitecore server. Um, so if you don't have that installed, go ahead and install it. I already have it installed on my server. So I'm going to install this package. Now, what that package does is if I go into rules, definitions, elements, contacts, there's a contact facet member value condition, which I can use for things like personalization. And this is a condition that's based on the adaptive rules module um, and we can see what that does for us. So I'm going to go into page editor configure personalization create a new condition and now in here I have a new section called contacts and I have a condition that allows me to pick uh, uh, or to configure a comparison between um, some static value that I enter and a value off of a facet on the contact. Okay. So first thing I need to do is I need to pick the facet that I want to do my comparison against. So I'm going to pick employee data. Member name. Okay, so here's where the adaptive rule comes in, where the members that are listed here depend on the facet that I selected. So here, if I pick location, now I've got to pick an operator and a value, but the operator and the value are going to be dependent on what I've picked for the member. So since location has predefined options under it, the operator is going to be a Boolean operator. And the value is going to be 
a tree which shows the list of children that appear under location. If I change from location over to name, and name is just a string. So now the operators I get are the string operators. And value is just a, a regular input box. And if I do years of service, now years of service is an integer. So I get the numeric operators. And the value needs to be, an, needs to be a number. In this case, an integer. So please enter a valid integer value. So this condition is a more uh, fully implemented and real-world example of how you can use the adaptive rules module. And if we come in here, we can just see how this works. It's using, uh, it's got those three parameters, so it's using the tree just to show a list of the different facets. Then we have an adaptive tree for the facet members, and the tree is dependent on the contact facet ID. And then the value and the operator um, use the appropriate macros. So the adaptive operator with the dependency on the contact facet member ID and the adaptive value also with the dependency on the contact facet member ID. And the value of this is that now it doesn't matter what kind of contact condition you want to build you use just a single condition. So you don't have to go through and whenever you add a new facet, create new conditions in order to handle that. You have this one condition and it will be reused for all of the different facets that you have. 